Many of you WinLink users have probably heard about Vara HF, one of the latest high performance weak signal protocols that's commonly used for sending email on the WinLink system. Well, the Vara protocol now brings state of the art military grade technology to keyboard to keyboard chat. If you're already doing digital modes with your radio, then you already have all the equipment you need. Hi, I'm Julian Frost, N3JF, your ham radio sensei. Let's get you up and running on Vara Chat. Onegaishimasu. To start using Vara Chat, you'll need two pieces of software. The first piece of software you'll need is the modem software, Vara HF, by Jose Alberto Nieto Ross, EA5 HVK. Vara HF comes in two flavors, a free version and a paid version. The only difference between the two is that the free version limits the speed of data transfers and it asks you to upgrade, whereas the paid version gives you full speed capability and doesn't nag you. Remember though, we're talking keyboard to keyboard communications, so that's never going to need super fast connectivity. However, you can also send small files in Vara Chat, so if that's something you might want to do, consider getting the paid version of Vara HF. I recommend supporting the author of the software, so buy the paid version. Download Vara HF from rosmodem.wordpress.com. The second piece of software you'll need is Vara Chat, or V-A-R-A-C as it's commonly called. It comes from Irad Deutsch 4Z1AC. Vara Chat is free software that's downloaded from varac-hamradio.com. Vara Chat now supports rig control via built-in cat control commands for most rigs. If your rig is not yet supported, you can use OmniRig. Vara Chat can use either one. To start, we need to install Vara HF using all the default settings, and then install Vara Chat. It's extremely straightforward and really doesn't need any further explanation from me. So let's get the software configured. Starting Vara Chat brings up two windows. The main Vara Chat window, and the Vara HF window. Configuring the Vara Chat radio settings. Click Settings, then PTT and Vara Configurations. Select your radio in both lists and choose USB-D mode. Select the correct COM port and board rate for your radio. And test for functionality. Test the PTT works and change the frequency. There should be no errors in the test error log window. Configuring the canned messages. Click Settings, then Canned or Predefined Messages. Edit the welcome message. The welcome message is sent whenever somebody connects to you. Edit the other messages as you see fit. Give the messages a name. I include the tags Name, QTH and Look as shown in my welcome message so that whenever somebody connects to my station, the Vara chat log fields are automatically updated for them. Configuring Vara HF. Click Settings, then Vara Setup. Input your call sign and registration key if you've purchased the full speed version of Vara. Also, check the boxes shown. Click Settings, then Sound Card. Select your sound card's microphone and speakers. You should adjust the audio drive level so that on TX, the ALC is one third scale. This is very important. We're done. Let's have a Vara Chat QSO. Click Send Beacons to announce your presence on the air. Anyone monitoring the calling frequency will see you and your signal strength. Once enabled, beacons will be sent out every 15 minutes and whenever you change bands. Change bands using the pull down menu at the top left of the main window. The frequencies shown are the calling frequencies. A beacon will be sent soon after you change bands.
Watch the status line on the VARA window to see the beacon being sent. Click the button again to cancel the beacons. Calling CQ. To call CQ, simply click the Call CQ button when on your chosen band's calling frequency. Your radio will key up, send CQ and your call sign three times, unkeying between each CQ. Those within range will see your CQ in the last heard CQ calls window. When someone answers your CQ, you'll hear a beep and VARA chat will start connecting your stations together. Your welcome message is sent out to the other station, which automatically populates the log fields in their VARA chat program. You can see the outgoing message in the box here. A green progress bar shows how much of the current outgoing message has been sent. The whoosh sound signifies that the message has been sent and perfectly received with no errors. The other station automatically sends a signal report and we send one back. It's customary to QSY away from the calling frequency and this is handled automatically by pressing the QSY up or down buttons. I can see that K7JPF is typing to me, so I'm going to let him know that I'm going to initiate a QSY. Meanwhile, I see the message he just sent me. He forgot to save his name, QTH and location information. No problem, I'll type it in manually later. K7JPF received my last message. Now I'm going to start the QSY up process by clicking the QSYU button. Vara Chat sends a request to K7JPF and we both have to confirm that we want to QSY. Our two radios shift up 750 hertz and continue communicating away from the calling frequency. Now we're able to continue our keyboard to keyboard QSO, each one of us sending and receiving messages we can type our outgoing messages whenever we want. We put them in the new message box and we don't have to wait for the other person to finish sending. Our messages will send when it's our turn. I'm going to type in K7JPF's name and QTH into the log fields because they weren't correctly sent earlier. I have auto log QSO checked, so it will automatically log this QSO when it ends. I'm going to send one of my canned messages to Jerry. I'll send my station information. And we'll continue the QSO. Jerry wanted to try his other antenna, so I suggested he disconnect, QSY back to the calling frequency, and call me back. After he disconnected, Vara Chat asked me if I wanted to go back to the calling frequency, which I did. Calling another station. To call another station, double click on their call sign in either the last heard beacons 
or the last heard CQ call boxes. If the operator is not currently at their radio, VaraChat can take a message. Checking the I'm away button turns on this feature. I'll usually send my my info canned message so that my call sign name and location get put into the other operator's log. And then I'll click disconnect button to end the QSO. I've been using VaraChat for a while and it's a lot of fun. It's amazing just how little power you need to complete keyboard to keyboard QSOs. And unlike other modes like PSK31 and RIDI, VaraHF uses forward error correction. So what you type, is what the other station receives with no errors. Okay, it's not gonna correct your typos. Well, wait, it does have a spell check, so maybe it will. Anyway, there are other features of VaraChat and VaraHF that I did not cover in this video, and both pieces of software are under constant development. I hope you'll give VaraChat a try and join us on the main 20 meter calling channel when you get everything up and running. Please don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. For Ham Radio Outlet, I'm Julian Frost, N3JF, your Ham Radio Sensei. Arigato gozaimashita.